नमस्कार स्वागत आपका ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन पर मैं हूं देवेंद्र त्रिपाठी और इस सेशन में हम लेकर आए हैं क्लास नाइन्थ के स्टूडेंट्स के लिए इंग्लिश का सब्जेक्ट और इसमें हमारे स्टूडेंट्स आज पढ़ेंगे एक पोएम ऑन किलिंग अ ट्री ये चैप्टर पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे साथ हमारे मेहमान जुड़ चुकी हैं हमारी मेहमान और उनका परिचय आप सभी से कराते हैं हमारे साथ हैं डॉक्टर रिंकल शर्मा जो कि एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर हैं स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रेटर नोएडा में मैम आपको बहुत बहुत स्वागत है और जैसा कि आप जानते हैं इंटरेक्टिव लाइव सेशन है यू कैन राइट एस ऑन आवर फोन नंबर एंड यू कैन राइट एस ऑन ई मेल एड्रेस ऑल्सो यू कैन नोट डाउन द फोन नंबर डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन यू कैन सी द नंबर यू कैन राइट द नंबर विच इज फ्लैशिंग ऑन स्क्रीन एंड द ई मेल एड्रेस इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन सो स्टे स्टे विद बस टू रीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द पोएम ऑन किलिंग अ ट्री सो मैम हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड हाउ वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस पोएम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन यस सर वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन यू हैव आस्ट ऑन किलिंग अ ट्री द टाइटल इंडिकेट्स इट वेरी वेल वॉट द पोइट वॉट मैसेज द पोइट वॉन्ट टू कन्वे थ्रू दिस चैप्टर थ्रू दिस पोएम एक्चुअली सर पोइट वॉन्ट टू मेक अस अवेयर अबाउट की सेव ट्रीज गिव अ लॉट टू ट्रीज don't kill the trees don't cut the trees these are the basically messages okay. and what the, basically the importance of the trees in our life or in our ecosystem yes sir for ecosystem right. and students can get a good lesson out of all these stanzas whatever stanzas beautifully created poem it is sir Fine. and uh, poet has beautifully drafted it right so start uh, reciting and uh, telling about the Yes, sir. And topic. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, students, uh, be aware about today. We are going to study the poem on killing a tree. On killing a tree, summary raises awareness among the readers regarding trees. Here, the poet sensitizes the readers regarding trees by emphasizing the fact that trees are living things. For the, further, most the author makes a comparison between trees and humans. He does so by equating uh, the trees with humans yes students uh, be aware about all this this tree what we the what the poet want to convey the message poet has make a comparison of human beings and trees we as a human being should give a due weightage to trees and we should try to save trees as much as we can here few of the stanzas are there these are in in fact in satirical manner sir right. the poet want ki if you want to kill a tree that is not an easy task rather you should put efforts you should do your best to cultivate the trees to save the trees right. yes students now we are moving you are well aware about this poem is composed by g patel, patel. stanza 1 i am reciting here few of the things are there students being a student you have to keep in mind few of the things few of the things may be first you should go for the explanation part you should know how to recite this poem in a correct manner and what type of word meanings are there if we go for the word meaning part rather than emphasizing over word meaning word to word only we should try to make the usage of these word meaning by making usage of different devices right. if we have the time we will definitely go through that i am starting with the recitation of stanza 1 it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leper hide sprouting leaves yes beautifully designed stanza if we go through the words that are somehow difficult these may be difficult for the students if we go for the meaning of jab that is quick crust surface of the earth leprosite discolored bark now we are going for the explanation part of all these lines a simple cut does not destroy a tree a tree grows gradually it is rooted in the soil a plant takes nutrition from the soil to grow into a big tree the tree is firmly bound with the soil it takes in sunlight water and air to grow into a strong trunk and have numerous leaves students if we go for a 
explanation of all these this stanza so that will be if we want to destroy a tea, tree a simple cut can't create an impact over the tree we should try to get a meaning what the poet want to what message the poet want to convey out of this stanza poet is in fact trying to make us aware about again and again i am emphasizing over this point poet is trying his best we should put efforts to save the trees right just if we want to to make a cut we can't destroy the tree why because it is not a one day result only rather a tree has rooted in the soil this plant has taken nutrition from the soil and it is not a one day dream that that plant has turned into a big tree this tree is firmly bound with the soil if you think ki just by putting a knife over the tree or just by cutting a tree you are destroying the tree this is not possible why because poet is making a comparison of human being with the tree. trees trees if we want to create a harm to the trees definitely we are not going to be successful why because tree is having such a stamina tree is having such a capability tree is having such a firm determination if we compare the tree with the human beings that it turns out of its ashes we can say right. why because it is not a one day dream only rather it is the result of a time it has absorbed sunlight water air to grow into a strong trunk and numerous leaves are there right. now we are switching for the stanza 2 so hack and chop but this alone alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniatures bows which if unchecked will expand again to a former size in previous stanza too we have discussed this if just by putting a harm to the tree and we are saying ki, yes we have cut the tree we can't be happy why because tree is having a firm determination it is having a life in itself just like the human being if we hack and chop the tree alone it will not create a bad impact over the tree why definitely it will go through a pain and this pain we can make a comparison with the human being who has gone through an accident or who has has been uh, tortured somewhere and bleeding is there in the same way if he we have cut the tree we have created any harm to the tree what is it it may bark it may have a bleeding bark but from this specific space it will heal it will turn into a grown up tree many of the images students you have seen where trees are there they have started growing from a, a Spe specifically cut area what is it we can seek a lesson out of that we can take a lesson ki tree is having a healing capability in itself from its close to the ground will rise curled green twigs why because in a previous stanza again we have discussed it is a strong tree it is not a one day dream only rather it has soaked sunlight is it soak water it has soak uh, air many of the things and this is the result tree is getting very much uh, strong day by day right. and it can heal up right and the roots are also very deep of any uh, strong tree and big tree big tree so we yes can sir. see and as you say, said that uh, if you if we cut any tree after the cutting of that tree we can see that uh, the fresh growing uh, branches and uh, roots of that tree this is the reason sir poet is making a comparison of it with the human beings Definitely. as human beings usually come up from the hurries from the worries whatever things they do have right. whatever problems they do have whatever right. circumstances they face in their life in the same way if we are creating harm to the tree they have their own potential they have their own creation they have their own capability right. to grow up. right and uh, uh, it is rightly said that it is not a one day process it takes uh, too much time to uh, make a plant into a tree. Turning into a Turning tree. Into tree. Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. You are so, right. So, we should not uh, uh, cut down the trees. 
we should uh, try to, to protect cultivate to, to protect cultivate. to protect uh, that is in fact the message right. that the uh, poet want to convey through this right. beautiful poems that is why we uh, see many times the uh, some beautiful images ac across the world that uh, somewhere people are making any house or, or any structure and mm. they do not harm the trees they adjust the, the structure into uh, with the tree Actually, sir, poet want to convey such a message. Right. They want that yes, these should be cultivated, and as much as we can protect these trees, that is beneficial for us, for our definitely, life. Definitely, well. definitely. And when global warming is rising, and when ozone layer is depleting, this message is very important for each and everyone. Very relevant, the globe. sir. Very relevant because message right. the poet has conveyed. Right. Now. Uh, again, we have gone for this explanation. You are well aware about humans cut and chop the bark of the tree into many pieces, but that is not sufficient to destroy the tree. The point of the tree which get cuts gives you sap like a human being bleeds. Gradually, this would heal and from there new branches start growing again. We have already discussed this. Now, we are switching for stanza 3. No, the root is to be pulled out. Out of the anchoring earth, it is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely. Out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive, hidden for years inside the earth. Here in this stanza, in previous stanzas, we have gone for this, ki how the, the tree should be protected. If we want to create any harm to the tree, definitely it, it is not going to create a good impact over the atmosphere as well. Here the poet want, ki if really, here the uh, poet has conveyed the message, tree is firm. It is well rooted into earth. It is not a one day dream only. Rather, tree if we want to take it out from the earth, then efforts are supposed to be pulled. Right, right. Here again, students, we request you try to get the real meaning what the poet want to say to you. Poet want to convey this message, don't cut trees, cultivate trees, save trees, put as much as of efforts that you can do. The root is to be pulled out. If you want to yes, tree is supposed to be killed, then only in one condition tree can be killed. What condition may be there? Pull it out, out of the anchoring earth. Earth has given water to it. Earth has given many of the things to it. It has got its life from the deep roots that are into the earth. It is to be roped. What you have to do? You have to rope it. You have to tie it. Then you have to pull it out and snapped out. If we go for the meaning of the snapping out, this is if we are breaking something, some sound is there. And if we want snap to make a breaking sound, if we are roping a tree, we are tying a tree, we are trying to pull it out from the earth, then definitely it is going to create a breaking sound. Only that pull out, uh, pull it out entirely. Here poet want to say how much firm, how much deep rooted the tree is into the earth. If you want only one condition poet has given here, that is if you want to kill a tree, what is needed? You have to pull it out. Here poet want to say this, deep rooted tree should not be, in fact the message indirectly the poet want to convey is sir, we should not try to pull it out from the earth. earth. Why? Because these are very precious gifts that are being given to us by the nature. Right. Try to cultivate this. The strength of the tree out from the earth cave. Why earth cave? Why the poet has used earth cave here? Because these are deep rooted. These are deeply dug into the earth, right. into the ground. Right. And the strength of the tree exposed when you are taking it out from the earth, then definitely whatever strength the tree was having tree is helpless and this strength you have exposed. The source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for ear inside. The most sensitive part you have taken out that is root. Right. You have tried to cut, no impact was there. You have tried to harm, no impact was there. Tri tree was trying its best to come up with a new life. But if you have pulled out the root roots, then definitely tree is going to be killed. killed. Try to escape from this extreme situation as much as you can.
Right. A very sensitive message through this poem, uh, I mean uh, to say that the writer is trying to give. Trying to give, sir. Writer is, tr is trying to give. This is the extreme of the torture that we can go for the trees. Killing trees. Killing trees. This is the extreme. What we are doing? When we are the most sensitive part, the most hidden part that is deep rooted into the earth and what we have done? We have uprooted it. Definitely then we are going to create a negative impact over the trees. trees. The poet says that in order to kill the tree, it has to be uprooted. One has to separate the tree from the earth which supports it. The root from the tree, bind the tree with the soil in the pit of the earth. From there, the most sensitive, the most hidden part of the tree, the roots have to be detached. The roots are white in color and are damp. Try to escape from this ex extreme situation. Right. At least if you are cutting trees for your personal reasons, they have a chance to grow up again. If you are putting your efforts to get it out from the earth, get it out from the ground, then definitely you are trying to kill the tree. Try to avoid this situation. Right. And if necessary, as you said, if necessary to uh, pull out the entire uh, roots of the tree from uh, any particular place because of some necessity, you can replant them Re to another place. Yes, sir. Where, they were, where there are some uh, open spaces available to plantation. Yes, sir. Many of the, many of the techniques are there. Definitely. Many of the cities are there which are making proper implementation of all this process, sir, that you are discussing. Definitely. And in fact, if these type of poems are prescribed for the students, these are the messages the poet want to convey to the students. Definitely. And as you said, there are many techniques available for the same process, but only there is need for a willpower, a wish to a do wish. so. And when we can think, definitely students, they are quite creative minds, sir. Definitely, definitely. They, the they motive behind, because students, this type of question, many of the questions can be asked in your examination and you have to be mentally prepared for this. What type of answer, what type of reflections you will give? You have to go for the, if we go for the creativity aspect, you have to yes, go up to yes, that extent. Yes, yes. What kind of preventions may be there? You, you do not need to read and understand only, you have to think also. Yes, sir. They have to analyze the situation. Analyze the they situation. have to synthesize and, the situation. And you have to also give an option. What is uh, 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 an option according to you? How uh, it can be saved? How it can be uprooted tree can be saved? Yes, sir. They have creative mind. They can think many of the ways they can suggest. Yes. Even in examination, sir, this type of creative question can right. be asked to right, the right, students. Right. Very rightly said. Uh, then yes. they should be well prepared for this. Now, right. sir, we are switching for the last essenza. Yes. Then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering, and then it is done. Yes, students, go for all these meanings scorching and choking, the drying up of the tree after being uprooted, choking, unable to breathe properly, withering, to become weak and dry and decay. This is the extreme, this is the last stanza where the poet is giving a very dark picture of that torture which has been implanted, implemented by human, we human being over the trees. If you have get it out from the earth, if its roots are not deep rooted into the earth, then definitely tree is going to dry up after being uprooted. You have uprooted it. Tree is not able to breathe up in a proper manner. It is not what air it was getting, what water it was getting. It was getting its life as in previous stanzas we have read. It was getting its life from the sunlight. It was getting, sun was giving a life to it. How it can work upon for the tree? tree. Now it is unable to breathe in a proper manner. Now it will become weak and it will decay. Decay, right. Try to avoid this situation. It is a request to all of you and this type of reflections are very important for you because the ultimate objective of the poet is to convey this message only. Right. Once the tree has been uprooted, then gradually it withers and dries up with the action and heat and wind. 
the trunk will become brown the trunk of which we were discussing about these will be uh, upgrade again these will get the nutrients from the soil these will upgrade again uh, tree leaves will reflect again now it will have the greenery again it will have the life again now these trunk will become brown because these are not deep rooted into the earth these will become twisted these will become hardened and finally the tree will die this way students please avoid this extreme hopefully uh, the poem is clear to all of you yes and uh, the importance of trees we can uh, understand in summer seasons very clearly which impact us or many of us when we are uh, walking through a long path and the sun is or on head yes sir and the we temperature is 45 and we have to ultimately seek some help from the trees Uh, seeks some help uh, not only some help the tree is only the hope on that path exactly sir 100% agreed Anna? right sir and uh, not only trees help us to uh, uh, reduce the temperature but also but also the trees are uh, uh, homes for many species yes sir in our ecosystem yes sir. like yes. birds and uh, other species yes many of the movements are there we can get students this type of question can be asked in your examinations any movement is there that was implementing over all this aspect whatever the right. message poet has come conveyed through this uh, right. poem right. chipko movement sir everybody is aware about all yes, this yes 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 sundarlal bahuguna he has put best of his efforts out of this yes many of the trees were cultivated many of the trees were implanted and uh, the, the result was dense forests are there great results are there yes that the res, the ultimate result is the sensitization of the people the people yes. understanding uh, people started understanding the importance of trees and this way the green belt is uh, increasing in our planet and on uh, our area and in this way sir whatever message we both are getting or we are trying to uh, impart to the students this is the ultimate motive of the poet definitely if he is making a comparison of trees with the human beings definitely he want as a human being what efforts what best efforts we can put to save the life of the tree to save the earth right and if the trees are saved def definitely uh, the uh, life on this planet will be saved will be saved yes thank you so much for joining us ma'am and uh, reciting this uh, very beautiful and sensitive poem Yes, that I said, yes, I should, should said, and uh, thank you so much, viewers, learners, for joining us on E Vidya channel number nine, and चलते चलते एक जरूरी जानकारी आप सभी के लिए देना चाहूँगा एकेडमिक सेशन 2023 और 24 के लिए कई पाठ्य पुस्तकों में परिवर्तन किए गए हैं न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी के अंतर्गत और अगर ये पाठ्य पुस्तकें आप तक नहीं पहुँची हैं तो आप इन्हें प्राप्त कर सकते हैं यू कैन विजिट अस ऑन इन न्यू दिल्ली अहमदाबाद बेंगलुरु कोलकाता एंड गुवाहाटी ऑन एन सी आर टी सेल्स काउंटर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन बुक द यू कैन परचेज द बुक्स फॉर होम डिलीवरी फ्राम आवर वेबसाइट दैट इज़ एन सी आर टी बुक्स डॉट एन सी आर टी डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट आई एन एंड वन मोर ऑप्शन इज अवेलेबल फॉर सॉफ्ट कॉपी यू कैन लॉग ऑन आवर वेबसाइट्स एंड एप्लीकेशन दैट इज दैट्स आर एन सी ई आर टी ई पाठशाला एंड दीक्षा and you can download your subjects books uh, from these platforms thank you for tuning us stay with us for another session uh, thank you so much namaskar